Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you my TBR for the month of September. As you probably know, if you've been around here for a minute, <laughs> is that I am a huge mood reader. But I think that having a TBR has helped me continue on with series, as well as start books that I really, really want to read and just have my wish list actually work for me, as well as my book hauls being actually read and also to read depending on the celebrations or the important events that happen here in the bookish community. This month from September 15th to October 15th we have National Hispanic Heritage Month uh, which is really exciting. Also we will be celebrating this month Independence Day here in Mexico so I want to read books by Latin American authors as well this month. So for that specifically I'm planning to read a couple of books. Number one, Doce Cuentos Peregrinos by Gabriel Garcia Marquez or Strange Pilgrims tra translated in English. This is a collection of 12 short stories that are loosely related between them. Ever since I read or I tried to read A Hundred Years of Solitude, I've been feeling really bad because I thought that that was extremely dull and boring for me. So I decided to give Mr. Garcia another try with this one and hopefully with the short stories I will be able to get more into his writing style and stop being ashamed because I haven't read any Gabriel Garcia Marquez. <laughs> The next thing I want to read, I don't have the physical copy sadly, I will be reading it on my Kindle, is Furia by Jamil Said Mendes. This is a new YA novel coming out this month and other than it being a YA about a teenage girl that is super passionate about football, I don't know much about this book and I prefer to not know a lot, especially with these new books and because it is YA I feel like it can be a little bit predictable so not knowing what's going to happen is best for me. And I do want to read more books for this category, but as I am a mood reader, I'll be just going with the flow throughout the month and reading more, but these two are just my top priorities for this month. A couple of videos back, I talk about the series that I want to read before the year ends, and I will leave in the eye icon the video if you want to watch all of those. But to move towards that goal and actually finish reading them, I want to read some books this month. The Fate of the Tyrling by Erika Johansson. This being the last book in the trilogy, this series got me invested in the characters, but also in the world that these books are set in. From the beginning of the first novel, The Queen of the Tyrling, we know that these books are set in the future, but they honestly look more medieval than futuristic. And in the second book, The Invasion of the Tyrling, we know why that is. And we come to understand how we end up in this situation in the second book. And from there, it comes the realization that history does repeat itself, especially if it's not been studied. These books have definitely become my absolute favorite YA series of all time. And I am really hoping that this book won't let me down. So. I also want to read The Wise Men's Fears by Patrick Rutherford. This is the King Killer Chronicle Day 2 or second book in the trilogy. And even though we don't have the third book out yet, I still I want to get ready for it, but finally reading this and being able to follow the story of the hero almost like an autobiography is incredibly smart and reading the difficulty that the hero goes through before he's even considered a hero is brilliant and sometimes even funny when you realize that he's just a regular human being just going through a ton of different struggles and through that I think that the hero really gets humanized and the writing style of Rutfuss of course it is beautiful and super poetic so I'm excited for that one. The next thing I want to read is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson book one of the Miss Brown trilogy. This isn't a story that I want to continue, this is a story that I want to start and hopefully finish by the end of the year. The Miss Brown trilogy is probably one of the most well-known and popular series here on booktube and in the bookish community and everyone 
booktube book bloggers friends have told me that i'm going to absolutely love this story and taking into consideration that i enjoyed reading elantris and how much i love the world building and characters i am pretty sure that this is going to completely blow me away and it will probably make me fall in love more with the cosmere world now for my butterweeds and book clubs i will be reading a couple of different things the first one being the carnivus the Carnivorous Carnival by Lemony Snicket. This is the ninth book in a series of unfortunate events. We are still following the tragic story of the Buddler, and this one hopefully will give me more because in the last one we found about some secrets surrounding the fire that killed the parents that just started this whole um, series of unfortunate events. And I'm excited to find more secrets of BFD, the secret organization that their parents seem to be involved in and I'm probably going to be laughing out loud with the unique style of writing of Lemony Snicket that honestly only he can achieve. For the Winers Book Club we're going to be reading The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I keep looking that way because I have my notes of all the books that I want to read so sorry. Um, but this book does not need a summary you don't need me to explain it, everyone has read it, Dark Academia vibe as well. And I've been wanting to read this for a really long time so I'm actually excited to have a motive to read this and then it's going to be great to be able to go into the live stream and just chat with everyone. And then I just have some extra novels that I want to read this month and hopefully I will be able to get to them. Number one is Tile Teal by Danielle Kelman, which was shortlisted for the 2020 International Booker Prize. And even though the winner was The Discomfort of Evening by Mariki Lucas and it did not won, this one just sounds right up my alley. I feel like it's got that mysterious dark vibes that I like in books and I am excited to find more about this legend from medieval Germany folklore and also about the 30 years war. So I am super interested in reading this and hopefully getting some new knowledge about Germany as well. To give myself a little break in the month, I always really enjoy having some middle grade in there and this month I will be reading The Crowns of Crosswall by D.E. Knight. The only thing I know about this one is that we have a magic school, so just like sign me right in there. I am excited to read this one. I love magic schools, it's just like one of my troops. So. As soon as I saw this arc, I just picked it up and I am really excited to be reading this one. The next one is kind of funny. Uh, after the reading rush and all the controversy surrounding this readathon and the host not being able to read Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, I got really interested in this book. I was watching the review of the book and all of that and I just thought this sounds like a really funny and exciting read but also, because we're talking about really serious issues, I am hoping that I will get some deep thoughts out of it, as well as some new perspective and knowledge about how things work in the US. So it is a fictional work, but I feel like it is going to push through that into the deep thought and make you, at the end of the book, just think about the reality of how police systems and just like legally stuff works in the US as well. I will honestly probably end up reading more books than these other books. Again, I'm a mood reader and also I am waiting for more information on other book clubs that I like to follow and I will probably end up adding those into my TBR for September but for now those are the 10 books that I am really excited to read this month so thank you so much for watching my beautiful beautiful book dragons please make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys on my next video bye